Holland versus Chile. Now both these countries have already qualified, so I'm pretty sure that both managers will be making a few changes to their key players coming into this game. An interesting fact from Holland, even in two games they've scored more goals in this tournament than Spain did in 2010 and they went on to win it. So Holland are in good form, but as I said earlier in my blogs, I do fancy Chile as the underdogs to go very, very far in this tournament, so they would have had to be above Spain to get through this group. With nothing really to play for apart from top spot, I still think it'll go Holland's way and they'll win by two goals to one. Australia versus Spain. Now, if you thought England had a bad tournament, you should have supported Spain because they've been atrocious as the defending champions and the defending champions have never, ever been knocked out in the group stage. And as I say, Vincent Belbosque went with the experience and went with the squad of players that's got him success, but unfortunately hasn't worked for him this time round. For Australia, they can take immense pride of how well they've done in this tournament, only narrowly losing to the Hollands last game. But what they can take away for me will be the goal of the World Cup by Tim Cahill. What a volley that was. And I wouldn't be surprised if he's picking up an award for that. How this game will go, I say nothing to play for, but I still think Spain will just get the victory by two goals to one. Cameroon versus Brazil. Now in the last game, Brazil picked up an unsuspected draw against Mexico, which did surprise me a little bit, but I'm pretty sure that Brazil will pick up the three points tonight and go through comfortably in Group A. For Cameroon, as much as I expected of them, didn't really provide much competition in this group. I said with an ageing squad, I say they've done well to get to the World Cup Finals, but just showed that they just didn't have enough quality to get through to this group. I think Brazil won't make many changes because they could still be eliminated from the tournament, but I'll go for a comfortable 2-0 win to Brazil. Croatia versus Mexico. Now for Mexico against Brazil, what a result that was. A draw against the favourites for the World Cup. So that puts them in pole position for tonight's game against Croatia because they only need a draw and that would be good enough to get them through to the last 16. But, as I said at the beginning of this tournament, in this group, I felt that Croatia would be the strong favourites to go through in second place. And they showed against Cameroon their qualities as well. And I thought they were unlucky against Brazil in the opening game of this tournament. But it's going to be a tight, very, very nervous affair between both teams. But I've just got a feeling that Croatia are going to nick this by a goal to nil.